No matter which way we go or how we get there, Chris and I are always on a creature mission to explore the world and meet all the incredible creatures on the planet. How did we get started on this mission? Well, you have to go way back. Uh, but don't go backwards on a donkey. <laughs> no, I mean, let's go back to the whole movies. Isn't that me with the turtle we helped across the road? When Martin and I were kids, we'd always go into the backyard or to the zoo or the farm, checking out creatures wherever we could. We were creature crazy. So eventually, I became a zoologist and Chris became a biologist. And then as soon as we could, Chris and I took up creature adventuring full time. That's when we started making our shows. When you're creature adventuring, you have to be ready to use any form of transportation and really go the distance. How far do you think we've gone? Pretty far. You know, it takes some serious planning. Sometimes things work, and uh, sometimes they don't. What's wrong with this car? Creatures Whoa. often have a mind of their own, Whoa. and so does our equipment. Should I put it in gear first? Or? There's no denying that that is part of the leopard's creaturality, and it's exactly how a lot of creatures out here view the leopard. <laughs> <laughs> You know, there are always surprises on the road to adventure. Whether we traveled as 18th century explorers, or as modern day creature adventurers, we always had to deal with things like driving into a ditch, or out of control horses, and uncooperative camels. <laughs> you saw a nice piece of grass he liked. Come on. Okay, come on, get up. But somehow, we always managed to get where we had to go. To the creatures! And I'll tell you, the frogs are popping like popcorn. But it's not mission accomplished yet. No way. If there's one thing about creatures, it's that they like to do things their way. So be patient and try again. Totes! Keep trying, Martin. That was going fast. Okay. Okay. Toads have sh There are lots of animals that live only in tropical rainforests, like the toucan. Take two. There are lots of animals that live only in tropical rainforests. Take three. <laughs> Toucans are masters at tossing food back into their mouth. Oops. <laughs> I love otters. Ever try to headbutt a rhino? Uh, me neither. But some scientists don't even think the flying fox is a bat. Like the flying fox. Who thinks my nose is a piece of fruit? Remember our tiger cub? Well, she was raised by humans. In the wild, animals have the right of way to do whatever they want. Tape ears are real picky eaters. They only like certain types of leaves. Now, I've got a palmetto leaf here and a coleandra leaf. Let's see which one the taper likes best. Tapers are real picky eaters. Never mind, she's gone. Tapers are real picky eaters. They only like certain types of leaves. I got a palmetto leaf and a coleander leaf. Let's see which one the taper likes. Hates the palmetto. Wait a second, tapers are supposed to love coleandra. Wasn't quite ready. Sometimes you've just got to demonstrate. But no matter what, we always approach creatures with respect. And sometimes they accept us. That is so funny. He's cleaning your teeth. <laughs> Everywhere we went, we met some great creature pals, like those orphan chimps in Africa. 
This is Tess. She's two years old. And this is Sophie. She's four. And this is Nika. She's two and a half. <laughs> And you know, the more we hang out with creatures, the more we realize we're all so much alike. <laughs> creatures communicate, play, take care of each other. Creatures can be really curious. <laughs> and sometimes a little grouchy. What is she doing? <laughs> the cheetah is kind of an oddball in the cat family. While they're obviously cat-like in looks, habits, and features, they have some characteristics which make them a very special creature. Where'd she go? Emily, you sleep on your side. But one thing's for sure, there's nothing like hanging out with our fellow creatures. <sighs> Emily, I can't fall asleep like this. You can see that Emily has four toenails on her feet. Emily, the older elephant, is showing little baby eye tongue what kind of leaves to eat. Emily, come on, I'm trying to get some sleep. <laughs> Animals like to do things their way. Hello? Oh, man. But camels originally came from North America. Chimps share their food, which is something that starts right from birth. <laughs> Then the pony grinds up the grass in its sharp molar teeth and chews with its powerful jaw and muscles. We want to find those creatures and try to understand them. And that means doing what they do. these creatures, but we do find out what it's like to be one of them, and we sure have fun. But of course, things don't always go as planned. So, when in doubt, laugh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's a dog in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Ronald! Be very, very quiet. We are twacking winos. That's right, the cougar. Three nine. Take the same creature and put him in a big wildebeest herd? Well, chances are that he won't be the one taken down. Watch out for the rock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 